In the following video, I'm going to show you how to configure the 4G on uh, an IM4 dongle and we're going to connect to the Australian server. We're not going to do any other aspects of the dongle at the moment, we'll just keep this video short. So let's begin. So the first thing I want to do is go into my settings on the mobile and I'll tap connections like so and I'll tap Wi-Fi because I want to connect using the Wi-Fi. Now it will scan for networks and the one I'm looking for is SG hyphen and then the serial number of the dongle which is the second to the top one here so I'm going to connect there and that will connect to the dongle. I now go and open up a browser, any browser and I go into the search and I tap 11.11.11 .11 .11 dot one like so and I'll just tap on there and this is the new user login box so we select the, the top one there and we're going all lowercase uh, main 10 is the user name and once again lowercase p w one 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 and along the right of that there's a little kind of eye symbol we'll tap that there and you can see uh, maintain and PW1111 that's the standard login so we'll just log in like so now it will give you this modified password box not required probably best not to worry about it you can change the password if you like uh, but it, it's not necessary so just where there's a little uh, X beside modified password just tap that and we will go into the setup wizard uh, this always opens up. Now it will show you connected but we still have to configure the system. So down the bottom where it says cellular network I'm going to tap on there and I'm going to go into this little box and backspace and uh, what I put in here is internet LTE sorry internet dot LTE dot CXN so internet and I've got it in my memory so there we go internet.lte.cxn and save okay operation successful we're good there now that's all we need to do here obviously if you're going on to commission inverters meters etc you will click the button that says next but we don't need to do that at the moment so we'll just close the setup wizard uh, now we need to set it for the Australian server so on the top left there are three kind of little dashes here if you tap them that opens the drop down menu box on the left so we select system and we scroll down a bit to forwarding configuration like that and you see the box that says server and peer port because we've got a small screen we don't see the full box so we have to slide it along to the left if you were using a laptop you would see the full box uh, there's a little gear wheel there uh, which for the settings so you just tap that there where it says server tap on there and select Australian server and that means all the data goes to a server which is located in Australia which is a good security measure scroll down and save and confirm so the operation is successful but it's not quite connected to the cloud yet so we tap the, the three dashes again and this time we go system and remote maintenance and you see it's disabled so we just tap that and enable make sure it is the Australian server and then save now this may take a, a minute to connect through to the server but uh, it doesn't take too long, it's only a few seconds, so we will just wait on that happening. Okay, there we go, that's come up, so we just tap confirm, like so. And you don't really need this box, you, you, can, you can send the information to your email, but um, or you can just copy. Uh, so I'm going to close this down. And you can see here uh, beneath where it says save, we've got the HTTP uh, address there, so that looks good. And I'm going to tap the three dashes again. And you'll see down the bottom of the menu, uh, the 4G bars are lit up and the cloud is lit up. And that means that we're connected to the cloud fine. So as I say, that's all for this, the video today. The other settings will be in another video.